Welcome to in 5 minutes. The next important point is if IF is too low then the selectivity becomes too sharp. See when IF was large then we were saying that the selectivity is poor. So it is very obvious that if the IF is too low then the selectivity will be too sharp. That is again because of the relationship between bandwidth and the center frequency. Uh, in case of all the filters after the mixer stage the bandwidth will be IF upon Q. If IF is very low, then the bandwidth might be smaller than the desired uh, value of 2FM. And in that case, uh, you can see that if the bandwidth is too low, then it may happen that my desired signal, which is spread across twice FM bandwidth from lower sideband to the upper sideband, will get truncated. So uh, if IF is too low, then uh, the selectivity will be too sharp and this will cut off the sidebands. Then it will be nothing but the loss of information. And this will uh, generate distorted output signal. So IF should not be too low, again, uh, to make sure that the bandwidth of the filter uh, does not reduces below the desired value of twice FM. Now these are some of the important factors. Apart from this, there are few more reasons which affect the choice of IF. For example, if the value of IF is very high, then we face problems uh, during the tracking. We will discuss what is tracking. Uh, there are tracking difficulties when IF is uh, very large. One more important factor is when the IF is chosen between the tuning range of the receiver. The tuning range of the AM receiver is from 540 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz because that's the range of DSBFC AM signals. It is observed that if the intermediate frequency is chosen in the tuning range of the receiver, then the receiver stability gets affected and heterodyne whistles are heard at the output of the speaker. And hence, it becomes very difficult to tune to the frequency band immediately adjacent to the intermediate frequency. So IF should not fall into the tuning range also. It has to be outside 540 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz. If it is higher than 1650 kilohertz, then it defeats the whole purpose of down conversion of signal frequency to low frequency and uh, having the operation at low frequency so that stray capacitance problems do not occur. And hence it has to be lower than 540 kilohertz, which is the minimum station frequency. It cannot be too low for the reasons like image frequency rejection will be poor, selectivity will be too sharp, etc. And hence, considering all these factors, IF is chosen to be below the tuning range, that means less than 540 kilohertz, but also not very small value compared to 540 kilohertz, and hence, it is chosen to be 455 kilohertz, which is not too low. It is close to 540 kilohertz. Also not falling in the tuning range 540 to 1650 kilohertz and definitely not on the higher side of the tuning range. And that's how we come to the conclusion that the value of intermediate frequency, which is accepted as the standard value for DSBFC receivers is 455 kilohertz, which helps us to have trade-off between the various problems that we face when IF is too high uh, and when IF is too low.